Animal health specialist Carrie Mower of the State Department of Game and Fish takes a call. Forty elk found dead on a ranch northeast of Santa Fe. I grabbed some equipment, put in my pickup truck, and I began to drive. When I got there, it was way more than 40 dead elk. I was dismayed and shocked and alarmed to find so many carcasses laying out in the open. Kerry counts 113 dead elk. Something bad had happened, and it had happened real fast. One possibility is epizootic hemorrhagic disease, or EHD, a deadly virus untreatable in the wild. It's spread by biting insects. In 2012, the state of Nebraska loses over 100,000 white-tailed deer to EHD. Here, the cell walls rupture from the virus. And when you look at a deer after it's dead and cut it open, you'll see rupturing of the lungs and many of the major organs. To see if EHD is to blame, Kerry must examine the elk and look for signs of internal bleeding. With over 70,000 elk in New Mexico, every one of them is at risk. I began to take samples and I looked at uh, liver, I looked at spleen, I looked at lungs, and I looked at their hearts. I was anxious to find out if I could see some hemorrhage on those organs. I couldn't. It wasn't epizootic hemorrhagic disease. With EHD ruled out, who or what is the killer?